Hello everybody, welcome back to Outrius Plays Bendy in the Ink Machine. It's just you, me, this glass of mead and that pint of water because my throat is a little crackly so I apologise if my voice falls apart during this episode. Um, I'm terrified. At the end of the last episode we met Boris the Wolf in some guys that I wasn't quite sure about. He was definitely in three dimensions but he did not seem all that uh, hostile but I'm sure we'll find him very soon. I am to leave this safe house which is something I do not want to do. In the last episode, we also met Bendy in all his three-dimensional glory, and we ran away, uh, ran away from him, uh, screaming like little children. Uh, and instead of, of course, running through the corridor, we thought we were going to be amazing gamers, take a side step, side corridor, which ended up with us just facing a... I don't like that being locked. Something is going to come out of there at some point. Take plunger. To... Did I do that? Uh, we ended up uh, staring at a ooh, uh, um, statue, <laughs> which turned out to be a save point, but that's okay. And um, got caught by Bendy, which just meant that we had to walk through the tunnel of death and come back to... Hello. So we're in a safe house right now. Exit safe house is our obje object. And here is our friend. In full three-dimensional glory, staring right at me, not being in any way hostile trying to attack me or even doing anything except for bopping around looking friendly so I'm happy that there is at least something else in this world uh, that is <laughs> it's just, just a normal thing uh, I have gained back my one marble since I last played so I'm ready to lose it again slowly but surely in the endless corridors of this horrific studio I'm not getting out of here that easy he need to open the door but the lever is missing Boris probably has it Boris find the lever this is Boris Hey, buddy, you seen that lever handle around? Or are you holding it hostage until I make you something to eat? I thought so. Let's see what we got. Find soup for Boris. So we've been finding soup cans willy-nilly in this entire game. Why not pick them up now for an actual reason? I don't know. I think, it, I think we learned that it does actually heal you slightly. Uh, if you need it. But I've also learned that if you just run the hell away and cower, that will heal you too. So I'm going to go with that strategy for the time being because that's the way I am. Apologize again, once again, flashing lights. I uh, might remember to put in there. Yeah, I might remember to put the um, warning up at the front of this. But if I didn't and you're watching it and you do have photosensitivity, please just uh, understand that I apologize now. Up front, knowing myself uh, as a fool, but also should be enough. retroactively, because now you're watching it after I've already made that mistake. Make Boris soup. I, I, I want to get that soup, though, because I can see it. You see? And I know that there's a, it's a collector's item. Everyone's after this stuff. Okay, let's eat just... this up. There you go, Boris. Run it. Need your soup, loser. Oh, here you go. Oh boy, what a radical chap you turned out to be. I hope I see you again because you don't say anything, which I am absolutely down with, and um, you, you just seem happy Seems and go there. lucky and don't wander off. Yeah. You're following me, which does not creep me out as it might once have done, because, again, I have my marble back. But, uh, I'm not sure about your grin. Here's Bendy again. Hmm. Looks like it's really dark up ahead. Let's find some light. This light. This is light. Enter the darkness, find a flashlight. What do we get? Well, this isn't Doom 3 or anything. Don't be scared, that. Boris. But keep the light near you so you don't get lost. Keep the light on Boris then, I guess. You you walk ahead, and I will just be scared behind. If I don't keep the light on Boris, does he get... He does get frightened, but... See that? Hours, and then... I help it. So Boris is on my side. <laughs> For now... Um, I didn't like that. Come on then. Did Go. you hear that? Yeah, don't nod or anything. Neither. Uh, Boris is on my side, and Bendy is very much not. Uh, uh, Boris seems 
very much like the Goofy character here. So <laughs> he literally looks like Goofy. Oh, that was nice. another dead end. I don't see any other way through. I'm kind of expecting. You got any ideas for us? He's either going to come a cropper of something or be the comic relief of the whole thing. Okay. We're going here. Are you going through here on your own? Yes. I'm going to open that door like the imps from Doom 3. I have my flashlight back. At least that one's shut as well. <laughs> no Bendy coming through there, except Bendy might be made of ink. So he could probably get through those cracks. Not like this. I'm assuming that Boris has done that uh, because of. If I don't, I will immediately lose my marble. Heavenly toys. It's okay. Wow. See, these things are all right for now. I, I know. Any of this. <sighs> uh, I really freaked myself out with these things appearing in random places. Last time, but that was a few weeks ago. I haven't played since. Three episodes and then several weeks of recovery. But it was Christmas. Hope you all had a nice Christmas. Or whatever you celebrate, even if it's nothing. Um, because it's just a time to not be at work. And that's good enough for me. Although I was at work, because as a contractor, I do have to uh, earn my keep. I get paid for the hours that I do, and I don't get paid for the hours that I don't do. By and large. I'm not going to go into the details of it. You don't need to know that. You don't need to know anything. Except for the fact I'm just going to keep rambling, because then I don't end up in the inevitable decline. There's always something blocking the door. Of my sanity, which be a way through. I don't have to. Come in. Fix the toy machine. Hello. Oh, talk to me. Mead. So what if I went and painted some of those bendy dolls with a crooked smile? Then she'd have to go and get a That was not a terrible Irish accent, so I'm going to guess that person might have actually been Irish. I like it when voice actors are actually from the place they're supposed to be. Have you heard the English accents we get in some of these <laughs> games that we've been playing? Go and listen to the English accent in the uh, ooh, squeak in the um, the Borderlands <laughs> uh, playthrough that we've been doing on stream. Turn on the thing, okay? We just have like a. This is obviously a switch. Can we just press a switch? Right, can I have at least uh, an arrow telling me where to go? Currently not fear, not a feared of Bendy, because it's been such a long time since everything creeped me the hell out last time that I've forgotten how creepy this game really was. Won't be too long. Fix the belt wheel. What's this? Piece of the Bendy. The other piece of. Oh, that was an angel. That's fine too. Four of them. Do these go in my inventory? Do I get... Bendies? To play with? Oh, I see. Why? <laughs> Who designed this? Mind you, I kind of have a feeling that a lot of this place has designed itself. Woo! Not terrifying because, again, I'm calm. I, that's going to do me a jump scare. I'm just going to stay here. <laughs> just learn from your past mistakes. Uh oh. I mean, it's just a show. Told you. Uh, Angel, are you okay? You don't look like Bendy, but I don't think you're on my side. In my endless web. Come on now. Let's see if you're worthy to walk with Angel. Well, you didn't bendy me. <laughs> You'll forgive the expression. Um, but you didn't really help. In fact, you did leave a bendy with two sides. That's new.
Well, I was told to walk with angels, so we'll go to see the angel. Things are closing. Was that the way back to the demon? Yes. Made my decision. And I'm sticking with it. I wonder if this is a um, two, two path sort of game. I don't know if it is. I feel like it's very linear. Do I confess that I've forgotten some what what happened in the previous episodes? I think that was the person who was saying that she felt one with, uh, one with Alice Angel when she was voicing the character in the first place. Hello. Again, it's gonna be a while, but I'm pretty sure that I will soon lose my marble again and uh, find every single appearance of that bendy card uh, the cardboard statue cutout thingy. Absolutely harrowing and terrifying and probably one of the worst experiences of my life, but for now. Ah, there you are. Did boys. you do that? Oh, you're scaring me to death. Don't suppose you found anything we can use to protect ourselves with. This will do. Gent pipe. Say gent because it makes more sense than gent. So I'm not sure how much. It's a place, okay? In Belgium. Not like I just made it up. All these things that usually get up and attack me have not got up to attack me, which is also freaking me out slightly. We've gone the Looks angel like way. To open this, we're gonna need to throw two levers at once. You get this one. I'll find the other. Mm-hmm. Doesn't seem like a good idea at all. Go off the beaten track because that's what you should always do. Sound is scripted. Can't tell if that was part of a. I felt like that should be part of the show rather than part of the game. Yeah, that's a that's just mechanisms. Okay, things are allowed to move on their own without scaring you. <laughs> this is one of those be silent as much as you feel like you need to in order to maintain your own sanity games. Oh, familiar. So here's the thing. First of all, no. I don't remember that far back. Secondly, who's that for? Should I apologize if that is familiar to people who have recently watched the last episode or the episodes I've uploaded so far, but to me that was not familiar, which suggests to me that was for somebody else. Which suggests to me that there is that I am discovering something that has already come to pass, taken place, concluded and now sort of left its dirty, sordid, creepy imprint along this place. I saw a thing get dunked in here and I want to know what it was. <laughs> I apologise for the sniffing by the way, it is probably related to the creakiness of the throat. But I, I know that it's not pleasant to hear on a camera but at the same time, I kind of don't notice that I'm doing it until I've already done it and then I have to apologise. This is, nothing's happened. Well, we explored everywhere and there's nothing special. Puddle of ink. Does not leave footprints. Okay. Work hard, work happy. I'm wondering if that thing, that information about the 45 on the gauge was relevant to me. It certainly is painting the picture that doing this. Thing. Whew, hello. Go away. Ow. Didn't like that. What were you? And you've gone. I should... Uh, oh, also, now my heart is racing, so here we go. Whew. 
Um, you're going to get up. This thing's going to start getting up now and attacking me, and I'm not a fan of it. Did you do it? Did you do it? Okay, after you. I can attack you. Soup me up, baby. I'm starting to wonder if we're going to places we've been before and remember what I was saying in the first episode about non-Euclidean geometry? I don't know if that's the case, but I certainly wouldn't be surprised if we start repeating patterns and places that we have seen before because the entirety of like each level might be perfectly sane, so to speak, quote unquote. Sane. But um the, the thing in its entirety might be a complete mess. Where are we going? Oops, I bashed the microphone. Remember say, who you're watching. Um, I'm thinking that Alice has not got the same sort of primal malice as Bendy does. Because apparently we're interesting to But I don't necessarily trust her, of course. Um, I don't think she's necessarily going to straight up hunt us down and rip us to shreds like Bendy did. Maybe. We'll see. Here we are on level 9. Alice! I'm here! There's a hole. Another day in my dollar. You find as much as I was expecting to. I sort of want to find myself back where I started in a remember how we found the ink machine in the very first level and we couldn't get to it because a bendy thing jumped out at us and scared the living bejesus out of me uh, which was fun I, I promise and I, I kind of feel like we're going to loop back to that but in some sort of twisted charade of the original thing that's what I would do my first girlfriend and mum told us of the story of how she saw The Exorcist in the cinema when it was first released and in order to uh, get over it, it completely terrified her and in order to get over it she had to watch it again from a purely analytical point of view and pull it apart I might have told you this right um, like scene by scene and blow by blow in order to understand how they put together this um Oh, hello. In order to understand how they put this, this film together and how they made it so terrifying and how they made it get to her so that she could um, like, disassemble it in her mind and finally get over the <laughs> terror. I've never seen it, actually, The Exorcist. So maybe once I've got through this, I will be Look primed around. to do so. It took so many of them to make me so beautiful. A little bit confused by this because... I thought that this was being put together when we first found it. Now I'm thinking that there were lots of forests and they were disassembled. Uh, in a very bloody and specific way. <laughs> I.e. they've had their heart removed. I don't know if you've noticed. I believe Susie Campbell was the one complaining. You can't, um, can't go back. No button for the list of things that you've picked up, the list of audio logs that you've heard. I'm reasonably sure that Susie Campbell was the one complaining that she was replaced. That's a bendy type. I don't even know what this character is yet. It's a monkey character. We've been attacked by the monkey character, which definitely wasn't the bendy character that we were attacked by. Uh, just before we entered that safe house with Boris. Who is, by the way, completely abandoning me whenever it suits him. And not saying a word. Another one there which is alive. Sort of worries me a little bit that... Hmm. Now we come to the question. 
Do I kill you? Do I tear you apart to my heart's delight? The choices of the beautiful are unbearable. Don't How's think the world to think? <laughs> Take this little freak. Bendy certainly was. He crawled in here. This one is. Trailing his tainted ink to my door. If he must be. It could have touched me. It could have pulled me back. Do you know what it's like? Living in the dark puddles? It's a buzzing, screaming well of voices. Bits of your mind swimming like, like fish in a bowl. The first time I was born with this inky womb, I was a wiggling, pussing, shapeless slug. The second time, well, it made me an angel. Return to the lift, my little errand boy. We have work to do. Lots of tropes here. <laughs> I'm at once hoping that they do what I expect and also that they subvert what I expect. So this is not a creepy statue at all, but that's probably because I don't have a history of being creeped out by that. I keep calling it a statue, it's just a cut out. Um, hello. I didn't realise that there was extra ones just dangling. Notice how no bendies have been there. Can I just not walk off the edge? Well, here's me thinking that I have to be careful. But on the one hand, I'm kind of hoping that it's just a matter of the ink is evil. Obviously, things keep turning into, like, ink things keep turning on me and attacking me and hunting me down and trying to kill me. But it's the ink itself is the thing that's giving these characters life. Um, but a, a corrupt, evil life equivalent. Uh, and uh, the obvious thing to do is for Alice there, trying to become perfect, quote unquote, is that the left hand half of her face ends up being what she considers perfect, and the right hand half of her face is just some. Uh, Human concept is perfect. Are hungry. Gather me some spare parts. Pick the wrench. Search gearboxes on level K. Um, it's very warm. I apologize if I get there are so up. <laughs> few rules to our world now. So little truths. But there is one rule. We all know and respect down here. Beware the ink demon. I believe the ink demon is what I've been calling Bendy. Long and he will find you. For if you see him, you'd better hide. If oh, we did. you don't, well, I enjoyed our date. Now, Alice let us begin is sufficiently interested in me to not kill me. Because right. I'm not a, one of the things that she's been dealing with. The stairs? Could have taken the stairs all this time. So Alice lives on level nine. Wonder if that's relevant in some way. Level nine. Uh, okay, that wasn't open before. Unlocked. Form of open. There's the stairs. Okay, I should take the stairs. It's just these random things, just irrelevant to a studio. How has the studio become this shape? Um, I wonder if taking the stairs is a bit of a red herring here, but okay. okay. It's the Russell's teapot. I'm assuming the ink demon is basically bendy ink on it. Um, obviously the ink's demonic nature has taken form around the bendy character and that is the demon that we're chasing but quite what Alice is and quite what all the other ones are they they seem to have extracted themselves from the ink soup 
presumably guided by the demon, but I don't know why Alice has such a strong uh, existence of her own, like separately. These other ink demons I could just beat up. My own footsteps are scaring me. I am hoping that there will be. Well, it's possible that the uh, elevator was just not going to work just now. <laughs> and I have to take the stairs because the elevator is broken. That would make sense. Probably can't go anywhere here, right? I could wax theoretical. I thought was going to happen, but the easiest way to find out is to just play. What level are we on now? Oh, hello. It's more than one. How many times do I have to kill you, boy? Good. You gonna get up? Or end you? Do I did the rest of your fellows? I can only swing so often, which is kind of pesky. At least my inky blood health thingy goes away quite fast. Hi. And you? you gonna get up? Why I order? Remember, remind me what I'm doing. Search gearboxes on level K. The the fact that Alice is in tune with the machines is uh, seems relevant. Because the ink machine arrived first, and then the ink became a problem. <laughs> you know, the, the, the ink machine is essentially a ritual that makes the ink alive, I guess. That's what you might... Easiest way you might describe it. I should save some of these, because if I get hit a few more times, they can give me some HP back and prolong our existence. Which may not be for the best, to be honest with you. Um, but the fact that... Alice is asking me to fix her machines. She said they're hungry, remember? Which is an odd thing to say. Unless you consider them essentially your pets. Oh, we're on P. Going up. Gonna work now? You are gonna work. Maybe I didn't have to take the stairs. Nice to find a few things. Punch a few things in the face, that sort of job. I'm scared that there's going to be something in it. There is. It's you. That's fine. You, I don't mind seeing. You are happy-go-lucky. Okay, let's go to K. See how far we get before we have to take the stairs anyway. <sighs> it's a very dangerous lift. It's like those disabled lifts you get even nowadays where you can just touch the walls on the way up. Luckily, they have a limited speed. Start on level K. He will be drawn in because... He wants to be, I don't know. <laughs> There's anything I can do. Ink, if Bendy wants to play, Bendy's going to play. What's going to draw him in is scripted events I have no control over. Sorry to ruin it. Pull back the curtain. Don't trust the developer behind the curtain. Taking the stairs anyway just to see what there is. Lots of these weird TVs. Lots of ink everywhere. Just, it's kind of bizarre that there's so much ink. But the existence of ink is a... Uh, they're splattered around like blood, but... What has been dying in this manner? Not these things, they don't die like that. That's quite pretty. Wake up. <laughs> I was going to say you have to wait for it to wake up. Grab a push and put on a little makeup. I should explore the other floors. Hello. Not quite as terrified of those as I was when we first encountered them, but I haven't been through several harrowing levels of sheer dread this time. Although it is kind of starting to freak me out a little bit already. 
I understand. If you find Bendy, hide in the toilet. Got it? You gonna get it? Nope. Anyone in here gonna get it? There's gonna be points during the game. I'm gonna guess there is no way of avoiding that. Uh, no way of fighting that. You have to avoid it. It means following it, right? Hiding in the toilet. Um, let's just sit this out. I'm sorry if this is a, a long, a long wait for this thing to come back, but I, I have to know. Basically, <laughs> I can't go barreling down there and try and turn around and run out. I have to know where it is. Also, how long it's going to take. Let me figure this out. That's actually been a 30 minute episode, so. If and when it comes back, which is starting to freak me out, the fact that it's not talking anxi anxiously again. I don't even hear it. Tempted to go and have a look. Oh. There you are then. <laughs> oh, unless... I have to wait for it to come back. And then... Follow it through really closely. Gotta tell you, there is a dark undercurrent to a lot of humour, actually, especially in England. British humour is just very much try to laugh at misfortune because it's all we've got. Uh, that's not coming back, as far as I can tell. Seems to me like the correct thing to do is end the episode in a toilet. Which uh, might not even be a toilet. I have no idea what this thing is. Thank you for watching. Apologise for my sniffly and my creaky voice and my inability to speak and everything going wrong. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope that you will join me in the next one, which I'm going to record right now, because this one has not been scary enough yet. So let's see what happens in the next one. But until then, thank you once again for watching. Remember to uh, leave a like and a comment below to let, you, let me know how you think this series is going. Give me some feedback. I want to hear some feedback. Uh, until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you.